Okay, was is this Everly front and center? Because if it was, those pirouettes were the nicest that I've ever seen. Hey guys, I'm Jordan Sparks and I am a dance coach. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be reacting to Everly Rose in a group number this time. The group number is called Legs. If you're interested in that, make sure to give this video a great big thumbs up and let's hop right into it. Category is... It's RuPaul. Bring it to the runway. Category is stars, statements, and legends. And legends. Tens, 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 yes, pass. Hold that pose for me. DJ, start the music. Oh, that's Everly. Put me on the cover of Vogue. But my legs were too long. <laughs> Every day is leg day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes, Thighs, calves, all the way. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday is the one day I get on my runway. Ready for it, Hunty. Ready for it, Hunty. Okay, so I'm just going to pause now. There is a lot going on in this number, and there are a lot of people in this number. Holy crap, this is one large group number. So that being said, there's lots of acrobatic tricks in here. Cool, great. I would just like to say that we need to stretch our ankles and point our feet on those aerials, but otherwise I'm seeing great acrobatic tricks. I was really hoping for that ponche in the center that she'd just get that leg up just a little bit more. So my main problem that I see with ponches, and a ponche is not easy, and even for people that are extremely hypermobile and got that full oversplit, a ponche is still not easy. You got to worry about your balance. You have to have the strength to hold that leg up there at 180 or literally more than 180 in order for it to just look like 180 on stage. But we need to really remember that in basically everything in dance, we need to keep our weight forward on the ball of our foot and you want it in between your big toe and the next toe. All of the weight should be there in the middle of the foot. You could basically have your pinky toe off the ground and you shouldn't be sinking back in your heel in your ponche. And that's what I see so commonly is that people are really worried about getting the most out of that extension on the supporting leg and then they end up hyperextending and just really sinking into that leg and putting all of their weight transferred back into their heel and then there is no way that you can get your leg up to a beautiful 180 it's going to be sinking back because your weight is placed over your supporting leg on the heel. So just make sure that with basically everything you do, but especially in those ponches, you should be able to have your heel lift off the floor ever so easily because your weight should all be over the ball of your foot. Um, also, the pirouette, there was a turn here that was kind of a featured part as well, and she was just sinking to the one side. So if you're always commonly sinking to the one side, you dancing is just balancing, balancing and counterbalancing. So just pull all of that weight up to the other side. Overall, great, sassy, lots of fun tricks and stuff like that. Some great extensions and flexibility and leaps, but let's get back into it. Today, I'm legendary. Wait. Okay, was is this Everly front and center? Because if it was, those pirouettes were the nicest that I've ever seen out of her. So great job to Everly. Round of applause. We have been talking about the spot and keeping your eyes up in the pirouettes when it comes to Everly's pirouettes and her other numbers. So that was good. Overall, I would like to say that their musicality is really good. They're really in sync. 
Um, those alicicones in the back, they were starting to lose their endurance and lose their stamina and control towards the end. Right from the beginning, again, the stretched ankles. It's going to take a lot of work to really stretch those ankles and point your feet for some people, but you just really need to make that a top priority. And not just to make an aesthetic line, but that's going to actually help you with the control of your turns. There's a reason why we point our ankles, stretch those ankles really, really hard, and it's to make sure that everything is engaged, not just to create a beautiful aesthetic line. So that's my biggest correction there. And again, with the counterbalancing, if you are going to be leaning towards your working leg, just make sure that your weight is really, really strong supported on top of your supporting leg and the musicality for those turns was great they stayed in sync even when they were losing their stamina and a beautiful transition into the jump out of that nice. awesome they're definitely a really, really good, clean, cohesive group because they're all so petite that I'm just like, which one is Everly? I couldn't even tell if it was her in the center for the turns, but those turns were nice and strong and tight. Great job to all of the dancers in this number. I personally have been thinking about creating some choreography for you guys to learn here on my channel. I'm really wanting to work on some contemporary and lyrical numbers to some of the top 40 music that we hear on the radio because there's a lot of people doing hip hop numbers and stuff to that, but I want to give you guys some lyrical because I know that most of you guys that are watching really like the pretty lyrical, sassy jazz and contemporary. So we're gonna stick with those genres for the most part here on my channel. And I want to provide some choreography that you guys can do at all levels. So whether you're an absolute beginner and you've never taken a class and you absolutely know nothing about dance yet, or maybe you're a beginner, you've taken dance for a few years, or you've just been learning on your own at home, maybe you're more intermediate, maybe you're more intermediate advanced, I would honestly love to provide some choreography here on my channel that everybody can learn no matter what level you're at. So hopefully I can get to all of your levels soon in the future. And if you like this video, give it a great big thumbs up. But I think that that is it for this video. So as always, make sure to be weird, be wild and stay sparkly and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Every day is leg day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thighs, calves, all the way.